Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about the implementation of full ladder design in Quartus Prime Light Edition tool. So here to implement the full ladder in uh, Quartus Prime Light Edition, or in order to write the Verilla code, we need the requirements of inputs and outputs. In order to design the full ladder, it requires the three inputs A, B, and C in. The outputs is generated as in sum and C out. So here note that a and b are a b c not one bit size so for that full added design the boolean expression says sum equal to a x or b x or c in and c out equal to a b plus b c plus c a this is a two table for that the inputs a b and c in outputs are sum and c out this is the corresponding two table for that and this is the corresponding Verilla code for that. Now we'll try this Verilla code in the Quartus Prime Light uh, edition software in order to verify the functionality of this particular full ladder. Now here, in order to write the Verilla code, we need we need the syntax here. That syntax here followed by module, name of the circuit, and port list. The port list having the inputs and outputs. And in the Verilla code, the inputs are represented with the syntax as an input, and outputs are represented with the syntax as an output. Uh, there is a uh, keyword. In order to represent the inputs, we will use the keyword as an input. In order to represent the outputs, we can write the uh, output as an keyword. So if you are having any intermediate wires, then we can represent it as an by the name of uh, wire. And here, this is a code belongs to the uh, data flow model. So here, in the basically in the data flow model, we can we will use the keyword is an assign so directly we can apply the boolean expression to the direct output so assign sum equal to a x or b x or c in and next the next output from the full adder it is an c out assign c out equal to a and b or b and c or c and a here and and this straight line represents the logical and then logical r operation this cap represents the uh, logical xr operation so like this we need to write the very large code for that full adder and then we will see how that uh, logic circuit look like after performing the analysis and synthesis in the quartz prime light edition tool and then this is the test bench in order to verify the functionality of the above code and now here no need to represent any input and output here while writing the module and mod uh, module syntax directly we can write the module test bench whatever the test bench you are going to write here we can write that name so tb means here test bench tb underscore uh, full adder i am going to verify so we can write here full adder and next while writing the test bench we need to remember that the inputs are represented with the reg format reg is an one kind of data type here so we can represent it with the help of uh, inputs with the help of reg in the uh, test bench but in the uh, main source code we are not representing with the reg we can use the input for the input parameters now outputs are represented with the y data type and next sum and c out are uh, outputs so here this is the full adder uut uut means here unit under test which, which which one we are going to test that is called in here unit under test and this is an instantiation of the top module inside to the oh. test bench whatever the program we are going to verify that one we need to call it here inside so that is a full adder this is the syntax in order to instantiate the original source code program into the test bench program so full adder uut so this is the representation in order to call the parameters inside to the full adder that is a dot a this is an a is mapped with the a and b is mapped with b and c in mapped with uh, c in like that it will show here and then the in order to write the uh, initializing the inputs for this a b c in where you we are using the one parameter called initial it is in one kind of uh, always plug addition like it will perform only one time simulation here initial begin so a equal to i uh, so here we are having three inputs for that full adder so we will get maximum eight combinations these are the eight combinations for that 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 double 0 like that up to triple 1 so here this is the representation of uh, a number in the very large uh, this is the syntax here the first one represents here one how many number of bits are we are going to assign here so here only we are having one bit size of a so here we can write one if you are 
taking the a is in two size with two uh, two bit size so here we can represent two tick b double zero like that we can represent so here we are uh, we are assuming that a and b are a b c in are only one bit size so here we can represent one tick b zero one tick b zero for b and c in for one tick b zero so after completion of eight combination we can end by uh, begin and end statements and then finally we will uh, end up with this module with the n module the syntax for writing this uh, verilog very log test bench or n uh, source source uh, verilog code is a module followed by n module within the uh, module and n module we can write the functionality of the digital circuit now we'll check the functionality of this particular uh, full adder in the quartz prime light edition software so for that open this quartz prime light edition so this is a tool in a where we are going to verify the functionality and synthesize the digital circuits here so in the first starting itself uh, we need to check some parameters some to simulate we need to check one um, one thing here in that go for tools here click on options so here click on eda tool options so here we need to change the directory here model sim wherever you install that model sim we need to give that access to this model sim here so for that browse this is the actual current location for that model sim only once again i am showing it here in order to change that part so click on browse here so here open this e drive wherever you install that particular quartz prime light edition there only this model sim is available so click on that model sim underscore ASC and go down and there here we will see win 32a this one we need to select here and select folder and click on ok this is the setup we need to do it further in order to do the simulation of a digital circuit so after that click on new project new project wizard here and here I am changing the directory here So we are doing it for the lab purpose that's why i'm doing it as a uh, lab one otherwise i'm i'm making the folder isn't one folder isn't uh, i have already that folder ta under that i am placing the lab two uh, we can give any other name also here the folder name so here we need to give the uh, project name i mean the project name is in full added that is an FA I am giving here why because I already have other uh, project name with the full adder that's why I mentioned here for FA only here and next click on next last whether this folder is uh, whether we, whether it needs to create the folder or not click on S yes. it will create automatically that particular folder here and here select the empty project click on next and here no need to add any files here click on next and here we need to choose some board here so here i am selecting the cyclone 5 and here i am selecting the fpga and pin count we can select any pin count here so i am selecting the uh, core speed uh, grade is in 6 and next i am selecting any one of the here we may get the different devices here under this i am selecting the first one here and then next i am going to select the board cyclone v and next uh, check this one create top level design file and click on next and here we need to select the simulation so here we need to select the model sim alterer and click on next this is the summary of whatever we selected previously this is the summary here and next click on finish it will create our new project so now we need to write the Verilog code for the full adder design. So for that, select new and next select the Verilog HDL. Click on OK. This is the editor in order to write the Verilog code. So in order to, um, for time permits, uh, I'm copying the file which I have wrote previously. This is the Verilog code. I'm copying the entire code here along with the test bench. So I'm, I'm commenting this particular very log code in the test bench. 
now here this uh, direct if you run directly it will give some uh, some syntax error this is one we need to give the single quotation here in order to define the number so like this we need to write the code time being um, i copied the program which i wrote previously here so save this file now i'm changing the name of the file here i'm changing the fa fa means here full ladder here also we need to change that name we need to instantiate that program here whatever we are going to verify the functionality that one we need to call it here this is called the instantiation of the program instantiation of the very lock code under the test bench now we need to save this file click on save and here give the name of the top module dot v dot v extension for the very lock files click on save so it will save our file now here select files under select fa dot v and give a right click and set it as a top level entity and here analysis and synthesis double click on this particular analysis and synthesis it will take some time i think we got some error here oh uh, yeah here c is not declared in the program finally check the program once but because of here i had given the input as a scene but here i entered it is a in c so that's why you got error like uh, c is an uh, c is not defined there in the program so we need to modify it once and next once again here scene and once again click on save and double click on this analysis and synthesis wait for some time so successfully completed the analysis and synthesis so in order to see the structure of that particular very last code click on this particular rtl viewer it will show the structure of the very last code this is the full ladder design this is the structure of the full ladder design here this is a sum and this is a c out so here sum is in three input xr a xr b xr c equal into sum c out equal to a b plus b c plus c a this indicate will generate a b this particular indicate will generate b c this indicate will generate uh, a and c so finally those three outputs are get added here a b plus b c plus c a and this sum this particular xr is going to generate uh, XR get generate the sum output from these three inputs A XR, B XR, C in. Like this, we can check the structure of the very lock code. It will generate automatically RTL structure here. So close this one and next go to tools and click uh, in order to verify the functionality. Now go to tools and run simulation tools and click on RTL simulation. Now it has opened the model sim. Open the model sim folder and here it is showing like uh, tb underscore test bench and fa with uh, errors zeros and warnings as in zero and now click on this plus symbol plus symbol of work directory and right click on this particular tb underscore test bench once again recompile it this is not necessary uh, if you want to do the recompile do it otherwise uh, escape that step and next tb underscore step right click and simulate click on simulate and next here after getting the sim folder right click on this particular tb underscore test bench and click on add wave we will get like this here and expand this one So now directly run the here. This is the run symbol. Click on run. So these are the zoom buttons. This is the zoom full. So here the first one I applied 0 0 combination will get some 0 1 carry 0. And next here 0 0 1 will get some 1 carry 0. And next the third case 0 1 0 some 1 carry 0. And the fourth case. I applied 0 double 1 
will get sum 0 and carry 1 and fifth case 1 double 0 sum 1 carry 0 and this is the sixth case 1 0 1 this is I applied a equal to 1 b equal to 0 c, c in equal to 1 then we will get sum 0 on carry 1 so here 1 1 0 sum 0 on carry 1 finally all ones will get sum 1 carry 1 like this we can verify the functionality of any design by using the fortress finite edition by writing the test bench here so thank you for watching this one